Hey guys, back at it again with Vloguary16. Decided to do a look today just because I felt like it. it. Doesn't happen super often. Um, went with kind of like subtle, uh, like almost Lydia Dietz Beetlejuice with the eyes and kind of fucked up the lipstick. I, like, I was going to do black, but uh, it wasn't working, so I wiped it off and did this. It's a little smeared, but not the worst. So anyway, today I am going to be talking about uh, a topic that I am fairly, I'm going to say passionate about, um, and a, a thing that continues to be a topic of discussion in the cosplay community. Um, every so often someone will bring it up. And um, a couple of weeks ago now, maybe about a month, I in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in for cosplay, just a general forum really, someone posed the question, um, is boudoir cosplay still cosplay? Uh, but the way they worded it was in a rather leading and sort of inflammatory way. Um, that like you could tell that the sentiment behind it was to discredit and almost shame people who did do or do do um, boudoir style cosplay and what I found in the discussion which um, got heated fairly quickly which is unfortunate because I feel like we should be able to talk about these kinds of things um, at least in a somewhat mature way like I say somewhat because we're all like semi-grown people running around in costumes, um, which is a absolutely fantastic time. Um, but I, I uh, there's an irony um, to it anyway. So what I have found in the comments were some people held this belief that uh, there's no, there shouldn't be room for sexing up or like making characters mm, titillating, we'll use that word, and that cosplays should be 100% uh, accurate and if, like, they're sexy characters and if you want to cosplay a sexy character, like here like there's an ever-growing list which yes that is true um but there was also that sentiment and some people explicitly stated that if you are going to cosplay something it has to be 100 percent canon so unless they wore it in the series or show or whatever it is you're cosplaying from then it's not cosplay to which i say no uh, nah. Um, anything that... I, I um, hesitate to say anything you put on your body is cosplay, but technically there are no rules in cosplay other than have a good time and don't be a dick. So by all means, you, you put anything on your body and you believe that it is cosplay, by all means it is. Um, and I absolutely 100% believe that there is room in cosplay for variation and taking things in a new and different way. Like, I absolutely adore seeing um, Sailor Scouts as punks. Um, there's like a new-ish, uh, I think it started a couple years ago actually, but like new-ish trend of um, people cosplaying the Sailor Scouts as if they were like in a girl gang. So they'll wear like leather jackets and like spiked boots and like all uh, like really extreme like this kind of like sharp cut um, eyeliner and that can, and it's really cool and um, and that's something that's like taking an existing thing and adding something to it. Not even to mention gender bend cosplays. Um, I, 
some people, including myself, enjoy doing that, taking a character and, you know, so say I want to cosplay uh, Gara, for example, and I don't particularly feel like cross-playing, which would be like me binding my chest, and I, I, I identify as female, and um, so what crossplay would be is like since I identify f as female and the character I'm, I want to cosplay is male, molding myself into a more masculine um, appearance. So if I if I want to say cosplay Gara, but I don't want to crossplay for really any reason um, at all, then I will do a gender bend, and that is still. It's still altering a character um, in any capacity. So you'll sometimes you'll see uh, like a female Captain America, which I guess would still just be Captain America, but it'll be you know obviously um, the person has a feminine form, and so they've altered the cosplay to fit that more, um, whether that whatever they're doing to it to make it that way to make it comfortable for them it is an alteration and it is not canon so by the definition that some of these people were putting forth in this forum and i have seen this sentiment be expressed elsewhere anyone who does a gender bend cosplay isn't cosplaying because it's not canon which, no, it's still cosplay regardless of canon. Um, I think, and with anything you do to cosplay that is not canon, you do run the risk of um, not being recognized. And I don't mean in a elitist, like, I don't see you as a cosplayer. I don't mean it like that. I mean in a legitimate, I'm scanning the room and like, oh, there's an Inuyasha, there's a Naruto, there's a Sephiroth, that, like, that recognition of, oh, I know who you're being. Um, and you, al you always run that risk with any cosplay, especially if you uh, make it yourself, just from, like, you know, that technical making it standpoint like if i make a vincent um from final fantasy cosplay and um i have my red i make the red cape and i forget to put the um the high collar on it whoops <laughs> and i might not uh be recognized because that's part of his look and in that and not being recognized if you're altering a cosplay is especially true. Are there enough elements of the base character there that you can be instantly recognized as, yes, that is who you're cosplaying? So say, um, I keep coming back to Sailor Scouts, because uh, I'm kind of on a nostalgia tri trip right now, but uh, we'll, we'll keep going with with them. So say you are doing a boudoir, lingerie, pinup uh, cosplay of uh, Sailor Moon herself. Um, and you, you know, you have her wig, your lingerie pieces have like the big bow and the colors on it uh, are matching up with the um, original design. You are going to be recognized of like, ah yes, that's Sailor Moon regardless of whether or not she actually wore that outfit in canon. But, say you are uh, doing that same character, same idea of a boudoir shoot, um, but some of the elements are missing. And um, let's say you, you don't have your hair in like the buns with the pigtails, and you don't have the big bow on your chest. As, ju as just an example, it will be harder for people to recognize that you are cosplaying Sailor Moon in this way. And it's not it's not really anybody's business as to whether or not you're a cosplayer or whether or not you are cosplaying in that moment. Um, but I think that part of cosplay is 
performance. We perform for ourselves, absolutely, and primarily. We also perform for other people. It's why we go to, part of the reason why we go to conventions in these uh, outfits and post pictures of ourselves on whatever social media we have. It's, it's, it is an interaction. You don't necessarily have to care what other people say or think, but you are putting out um, a message and signals to say, just to say that, like, I'm a fan of this thing, and um, that can literally be the only thing that you're saying, but you are still saying it. Uh, sorry, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting kind of convoluted and off topic. But anyway, any kind of alteration to a character is running the risk of not being recognized if it's not a canon design. And another area in which a lot of us would cosplay variants, non-canon variants, is things like a, um, a cosplay skate meetup, or a beach party, or uh, a resort con where you still want to be in cosplay, but you want to be in a swimsuit so you can get in the water or just not be as hot, or uh, with the skate thing, like, wearing coats and actual clothing so you don't freeze. And a lot of us don't have uh, characters or whatever that fit that winter or beach theme, or maybe we find out about those events fairly short notice. And I don't know about y'all, but coats are really expensive, and I am not buying one for the pure uh, purpose of cosplay. Especially not up here in Canada. Like, you want a good coat that's actually gonna keep you warm. You are spending a pretty penny. And uh, a lot of the characters that I like, with the exception of one or two, are not uh, winter appropriate. And so if I want to go to those um, skate meets or winter meetups that are like outside, I am going to use what I got and alter shit um, to kind of still be recognizable but and still be in cosplay while still being comfortable. And the same with um, if you're going to uh, a cosplay beach party in the summer. There's not the huge myriad of uh, beach-ready uh, cosplay out there. Like, yes, there are many series that have the um, obligatory beach day, as I call them. This is mostly with um, Slice of Life school um, anime and stuff, but like that ain't always the case. Uh, so for something, th this past summer I actually went to a beach meetup and I was uh, be Beach Party May, which if I ha have a picture of it, I'll put it up, but I, I don't know that I, if I actually have a good one. But anyway, I found out about it fairly late, and I just bought a blue bikini. It was the same color as her tank top, which you see in the uh, some of her um, character's design artwork, and just attached fur, <laughs> fake fur, to the... Um, the, uh, the top of uh, the top and I had the wig on with the uh, actually have it here with the hairpin uh, and you know like the glasses and everything and I had enough elements on there that I looked like May when I got to the event people saw me and recognized me as that character and were coming up to me so like, oh, hi, May. Um, knowing that, like, it was the character May and not the, my, one of my nicknames is actually May, so. <laughs> anyway. But, thus far, Blizzard has not made a uh, beach skin for May. I actually really want them to, because I think they could do something really creative with it, like, I meant, like, she has that beekeeper skin, so she, they could probably do, like, like um, one of those old-school diving suit things with a big-ass helmet. Anyway, off, 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 off topic. Anyway, so 
by all means, I was still recognizable as May in that swimsuit because I had enough elements there and I was wearing just as much, if not less than, a lot of people wear for um, boudoir, lingerie um, cosplays. So then, where is the problem? And I personally don't really see one. Is there a bit of an issue in the cosplay community at large of only, um, I'll put this politically correct if I can, uh, societally acceptable or, uh, the, the society standard of beauty people, only them getting the, uh, a lot of attention and people who do uh, big builds and that kind of thing not getting the same level of recognition. Yeah, that's an issue but It is not the fault of or nor the responsibility of people who are Kind of fit that sexy bill. I, I hate putting it that way, but that's what we're gonna go with today. It is not their fault, nor is it their responsibility. If we are tired of seeing that, and tired of other people not getting recognition and not getting recognized, the onus is on us as the community to go out and find these other uh, cosplayers and promote them and share their stuff. <coughs> Sorry. The, the onus is on us for that, and we shouldn't be attacking each other or tearing other people down because they happen to have a sexy cosplay in their lineup or have done a boudoir shoot in cosplay. And the other thing that a lot of people were getting hung up on in the comments, and I have seen this elsewhere, is this idea that if we accept boudoir cosplay as cosplay, then suddenly we must accept all boudoir as cosplay. To which, that is not true. That is a logical fallacy, and I think people being immature or, um, I forget the term for it, but I think there's some there's something, there's a word for this where you're just saying shit to get people to agree with you. You're, well, you're taking it to a kind of extreme that is ludicrous. Because you remember those logic questions that we, some of us, uh, did in like late elementary school and high school? Where all cats are mammals. But not all mammals are cats. And the same goes for cosplay. Boudoir cosplay and lingerie cosplay is cosplay. But not all boudoir is cosplay. I have a handy dandy Venn diagram to illustrate this point. I don't feel like this is an extremely hard concept that things can be merged while still being mutually exclusive. Just because you are in cosplay does not mean you are in boudoir cosplay. Just because you are in boudoir does not mean you are in cosplay. I, f I feel like that makes sense. I, I know I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> anyway. It just, cosplay is something that I love, and I have been in love with it since I was a little kid. Before I even knew that word, I was in love with it. Costuming, dressing up, being 100% derp nugget is something that I love, and I'm so happy it's part of my life. and. The amazing friends that I've made and the bonds that I've created with people I would have never met otherwise is absolutely incredible and it it really does pain me to see 
the level of animosity that creeps up in the community every so often and this isn't me hating on the community at all because like hell I am part of the community and hell I there was a time not that long ago where I would have been one of those people saying no boudoir isn't cosplay and sexy cosplay that's like why do you need to make everything sexy like I used to be one of those people and it wasn't cool of me it was really gross it was um, not something I am at all proud of if I actually go back through my photos that I've shared on Facebook like when I was in high school and I feel really I do feel really bad about this where I I kind of I tore apart somebody else's costly and I didn't even know them this was just a picture that I had seen floating around the internet and I don't know why I felt justified in tearing this person apart someone who I don't remember and will probably never meet but that what I did is still on the internet somewhere I don't think I ever deleted it so please do not witch hunt me <laughs> guys I was young and dumb and that's not an excuse but it is a re it is a reason I think we all do make mistakes and I have changed a lot of my opinions from when I was younger. I feel like we all do that like as we get older, as we learn things, as we get more mature, our opinions change. Um, our perspective changes as we meet more people, talk to more people, uh, and experience more of life. So I do feel terribly that I once held such elitist and ostracizing and gatekeepy beliefs it's gross and I apologize for being that person but I I think I'm better now uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means but I got better <laughs> eh, Monty Python reference mm. <sighs> but yeah I actually I lost my train of thought that happens quite often, I think you can tell from this entire video. Anyway. It is getting on to be a fairly long video and I don't want to hit that half hour mark, so I will leave you with this. Cosplay is for everyone. No matter how you do it, you're doing it right. Love each other, be good to each other, and have a good one. Bye!